The Xincheng Rebellion was a revolt that took place in the state of Kaowei between late 227 and early 228 C during the Three Kingdoms period. The rebellion was initiated by Mengde, a former Shuhan general who defected to Wei and was placed in charge of Jincheng Commandery in Jing Province. The revolt was swiftly suppressed within a month by the Wei general Sima Yi. Mengde was captured and executed. Chapter 1 Background. In 220, Mengde, a general who formerly served the war of Lu Bei, defected over to Lu's rival Cao Pai, who had inherited the title of a vassal king, King of Wei, from his recently deceased father, Cao Cao. Mengde brought along his subordinates and their families, numbering over 4,000 in total. Cao Pai was pleased when he heard that Mengde had come to join him, and he gave Meng a warm welcome. Cao Pai appointed Mengdu as the administrator of Jincheng Commandery, which was located along the southwestern border of Wei. At the time, many officials felt that Mengdu was untrustworthy and should not be given important responsibilities. The Wei general Sima Yi, who was stationed at Wan and oversaw the military affairs of Jing and Yu provinces at the time, also cautioned Cao Pai against putting too much faith in Mengdu, but Cao did not heed Sima's advice. Mengdu was deeply favored by Cao Pai and he was also close friends with the Wei officials Huan Jai and Xiaho Shang. When Cao Pai died in 226, Huan Jai and Xiaho Shang had also died. Mengde started feeling uneasy because he had been on the front line for a long time. Throughout Mengda's service in Jincheng, he had been friendly with Eastern Wu and had established strong defenses against possible attacks from Wei's rival state Shuhan. Xu's chancellor regent, Zhuge Liang, hated Mengde for being capricious, and was also worried that Meng would become a threat to Xu. Chapter 2 Rebellion There are two accounts of Meng Da's motive for rebelling, both of which are generally similar but there are some slight differences. The first account is from the Wailu while the second is from the Book of Jin. The Wailu account mentioned that Zhuge Liang planned to induce Meng De to defect to Xu when he heard that Meng was feeling uneasy in Jincheng. Zhuge Liang wrote several letters to Meng De and the latter replied. Shen Yi, the administrator of Wei Xing, who had disagreements with Meng De, secretly reported to the Wei Imperial Court that Meng was having dealings with Xu, but the Wei Emperor Cao Rui refused to believe. Sima Yi, who was stationed at one at that time, sent an advisor Liang Ji to investigate, and also urged him to travel to the capital Luoyang. Meng De became suspicious and feared for his life, so he rebelled. The Jin Shu account confirmed that Meng De did have a feud with Shen Yi. Zhuge Liang planned to make use of this incident to lure Meng De to defect to Shu sooner, so he sent Go Mo to feign surrender to Wei and divulge Meng's plan to Shen Yi. When Mengde heard that the plot had been leaked out, he immediately made plans for a rebellion. Sima Yi, who was at one at that time, became worried that Mengde would proceed with the revolt quickly, so he wrote a letter to Meng to calm him down. Sima Yi wrote, General, you previously left Lu Bei and dedicated yourself to our state. Our state entrusted you with the duty of guarding the border and tasked you with planning an invasion on Shu. This is an obvious sign that our state trusts you. The people of Shu are fools and they hate you deeply. Zhuge Liang wants you back in Shu only because he has no other choice. What Gomo told Shen Yi is not a small issue. Why would Zhuge Liang so easily ask him to reveal your plot? This dangerous move is not difficult to comprehend. Mengde was pleased when he received Sima Yi's letter, and he entered a dilemma on whether to rebel or not. During this time, Sima Yi secretly led his forces from Wan towards Jincheng. Sima Yi's subordinates suggested that they observe Meng Da's actions first before advancing, but Sima replied, Du is not a trustworthy person. Now that he is hesitating due to suspicions, we should seize this opportunity to get rid of him. Sima Yi's army then advanced quickly and reached Jincheng within eight days. Shu Han and Eastern Wu also sent their forces to support Mengde, which arrived at an bridge at Shicheng and Mulan Fort respectively. 
Sima Yi dispatched his subordinates to deal with Meng Da's reinforcements. Before the battle, Meng Da wrote to Zhuge Liang, One is 800 li away from Luoyang, while I'm 1200 li away from Luoyang. When learns that I'm plotting a rebellion, he'll inform the emperor. The total time taken for Sima Yi to send a letter to Luoyang and receive a response is around a month. By then my city is fortified and my army is ready. As I'm in an advantageous position, Sima Yi will not dare to come and attack me. Once you arrive I'll have no worries. However, eight days later, when Sima Yi's army had arrived, Meng De wrote to Zhuge Liang again, I plotted a rebellion. Within eight days his army has reached my city. What godspeed is that? Meng De was based in Shangyong, a city in Jincheng which was surrounded on three sides by water, so he set up wooden barriers to defend himself. Sima Yi's forces crossed the waters, destroyed the barriers, and arrived just outside Shangyong. Sima Yi then split up his army to attack Meng Da from eight directions. Sima Yi tempted Meng Da's nephew Deng Shen and subordinate Li Fu into surrendering, which they did so by opening Shangyong's gates after sixteen days of siege. Meng Da was captured and executed, and his head was sent to the Wei capital Luoyang. Chapter 3 Aftermath Sima Yi and his army captured over 10,000 prisoners of war and they returned to one dot Shen Yi had been in Weixing for a long time, and had been behaving arrogantly. He had several official seals carved and distributed without proper authorization. When he heard of Meng Da's fate, he became apprehensive. Many other officials in the region presented Sima Yi with gifts and congratulated him on his victory. Sima Yi sent a messenger to taunt Shen Yi, so Shen came to meet Sima Yi, who questioned him about the distribution of unauthorized official seals but released him later. Sima Yi also relocated the 7,000 households from Meng Da's territory to Yu province in northern China. The Xu generals Yao Jing, Zheng Ta and others led their men, numbering over 7,000, and surrendered to Wei. However, these Xu military officers who only appear in the Book of Jin did not appear in the 11th century outstanding chronological historical text Zig Tongjian. Sima Yi traveled to the capital Luoyang to meet the Wei Emperor Cao Rui, who consulted him on how to counter invasions from eastern Wu, and then ordered him to return to the garrison at Wan. Chapter 4 In Romance of the Three Kingdoms the rebellion was mentioned in Chapter 94 of the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, in which some fictitious elements were introduced for dramatic effect. Chapter 4 Section 1 The Novel's Account Meng Du invited Shen Yi, the administrator of Jin Cheng, and Shen Dan, the administrator of Shangyong, to join him in the rebellion. Shen Yi and Shen Dan pretended to agree as they were secretly planning to help the Wei army when it arrived to suppress the revolt. They lied to Meng Da that the preparations were insufficient, and Meng believed them. Sima Yi's messenger Liang Ji arrived at Jincheng and lied to Meng Da that Sima had led an army towards Chang'an to deal with an invasion by Xu Han. Meng Da was pleased and he threw a feast for Liang Ji and then saw Liang out of the city. He then gave orders to Shen Yi and Shen Dan to rebel on the following day. However, just then, he received reports that an army had arrived outside the city. Meng De rushed to the city wall and saw that the army was commanded by Xu Huang, a veteran Wei general. Xu Huang called for Meng De to surrender, but Meng fired an arrow which hit Xu in the forehead. Meng Da's archers then rained arrows on Xu Huang's men forcing them to retreat. Xu Huang died from his arrow wound that night at the age of 59 and his body was placed in a coffin, and sent to Luoyang for burial. By then, Sima Yi's main army had showed up outside Jincheng and completely surrounded the city. The following day, Meng De saw Shen Yi and Shen Dan's forces arriving, and he thought that they had come to help him. He opened the gates and led his men out to attack Sima Yi, but Shen Yi and Shen Dan shouted at him, You rebel, don't try to escape. Quickly accept your death. Meng De sensed trouble and attempted to retreat back into the city, 
but his subordinates Li Fu and Deng Shen had betrayed him and denied him entry. Shen Dan approached the exhausted Meng Du and killed him, and Meng's men surrendered. Sima Yi entered Xincheng and restored peace and order to the city. He reported his victory to the Wei Emperor Cao Rui, who asked for Meng Da's head to be sent to Luoyang. Shen Yi and Shen Dan were promoted and ordered to accompany Sima Yi to deal with the Shu invasion, while Li Fu and Deng Shen were tasked with guarding Xincheng and Shangyong. Chapter 4 Section 2 Historicity Historically, upon Meng Da's rebellion Shen Dan was no longer an official and was not involved in the rebellion, and presumably he had already died. There is also no evidence that Xu Huang participated in suppressing the revolt. The Sangazi did not provide much details on his death. It simply stated that he died in the first year of the Tiha era in the reign of Cao Rui. Chapter 5 In Popular Culture The rebellion is featured as a playable stage in the Koei video game Dynasty Warriors 5, Extreme Legends, in which it is known as the Battle of Shin Castle. The player can only play on the wayside as Cao Pai, Sima Yi or Xu Huang, and must defeat Mengda to win the stage. If the player is fast enough, the stage can be completed before Shu reinforcements arrive to help Mengda.